What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life. And as you can see, I got my iPad Pro on deck. And there's a few things that we need to talk about. Now, this is my iPad Pro 11-inch M2. I haven't utilized this in a while. I used to use it for video editing, but I stopped using it for video editing. So it's kind of been sitting on the shelf. Now, I have a new interest in iPads. You know, WWDC 25 is going on, and we got a lot of new software things going on. We got iPad OS 26, the beta, and there's some things that we need to talk about. So, let's get into it. Okay, YouTube. So, like I said, my iPad has been kind of sitting on the shelf because I really don't utilize it. The only thing I really utilized it for was video editing. But now we got iPad OS 26, the beta version on this device. And they come with a few new things and a few new tricks for the iPad. Not a whole host of new tricks, but it's some really important tricks that make me feel like the iPad is getting closer and closer to being able to be used just like a computer. Now, also with iPad OS 26, the beta version, we got the liquid glass UI. So it's just a new look where Apple just want things to have a, a liquid glass, more magnified type look. If I pull up this folder, you'll see like the liquid glass type look. And I feel like Apple is dialing it in because I'm not sure if the transparency in the background or the blur in the background, or maybe they got a dark in the background because I feel like with some of this liquid glass stuff, the things that I need to see just don't pop enough. That's why you don't see it on my iPhone right now. And even if we swipe down to like these controls right here, it, it's just like, it looks like a jumble of stuff between the, the actual apps in the background and the actual control center it just doesn't look very very good to me but that's not the big thing to me as far i know the app will get that right and you know the aesthetics will come together but it's very very early developer beta now as you can see we do got some changes off the break and as you can see like different icons actually look a little different like photos looks a little different you can actually see the camera uh icon is different and there's a few other icons that look a little different but the way that you interact with the actual apps on this thing now is so much like a macbook and i just love this about this ipad os 26 that's coming our way that i got the beta version of right now now as you can see i open my youtube app guys and with the youtube app open guys it's actually some interesting things that we can do as far as the windows go now if you swipe down from the top just like a macbook as you can see file edit format view window help that's very dope and then also we got these three little buttons, exit out, minimize, and then resize. So I open YouTube and as you can see, I had it open and I just had it open as a window. I feel like that's dope. I can do what I want. I can resize this actual YouTube window. Now I can also take it and drop it over here and make it half size. Just go ahead and exit out, which is very dope. And you could deal with all the apps on the iPad like this. And at the same time, you can have as many apps as you want open. So that's one of the things that I never liked about the iPad, guys. I never liked how it multitasked or did multi-window type things. I like the newer found freedom and the setup that's just, just like a MacBook. Also, you have an updated files app that you could do actually more with the files. You can actually dock specific folders and make it easier to get to them. But yeah, with a couple of fixes, especially the way we deal with multitasking and multiple windows on the iPad, I'm definitely looking at this more of a laptop and I'm ready to get to back to using this a little bit more because I can use it the way that I want to use it. And that's kind of just like a computer. There's a couple other features where you can actually select mic inputs and things of that nature. They trying to give us a little bit more freedom with the iPad now, guys. I feel like Apple knew that they could, they could have been did this but they didn't need to, but now they need some wins. They need some actual innovation because people are kind of on their necks. So while the iPhone is actually a little bit more of a difficult situation for them to figure out, 
They know exactly what to do with the iPad, but be advised, this is definitely beta, beta software. This beta can be a little problematic, so I will wait for a little while because this is actually the developer beta for iPad OS 26. I will wait a little while, guys, but definitely some nice fixes and some nice touches for the iPad coming. It's your boy BG Tech Life. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Make sure you hit that like button. I'm out. Peace.